This is our third applicant interview practice video for U.S. citizenship. We created this educational video so that you will be able to act as the applicant. In this way, you will be able to practice and be well prepared for your upcoming naturalization interview. Good afternoon. Your USCIS appointment letter and ID, please. Remove all your things and place them on the belt. Walk through the metal detector. Please pick up your belongings. Thank you. Take the elevator to the second floor. A customer service representative shall assist you there. You're welcome. Hello. Good afternoon. How may I assist you? What time is your U.S. citizenship naturalization interview? Kindly show me your USCIS interview appointment letter and ID. I'll take your picture and fingerprints. Please look at the camera. Put your left index finger on the scanner, then the right index finger. Thank you. Here's your number attached to your USCIS appointment letter and ID. We'll inform you once your naturalization interview is ready. Kindly have a seat in the waiting area. You're welcome. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Number P9. Hello. I'm James Davis. I am the immigration officer who will conduct your naturalization interview today. It's good that you're here on time. Are you feeling fine or okay today? Can you hear me very well? That's good. Please follow me. Kindly stay where you are right now and remain standing. I'm going to place you under oath prior to the interview. Just put all of your things beside your chair. Please raise your right hand. Do you promise to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth? Have a seat, please. Do you need to go to the restroom before we start? Okay, first, we talk about your eligibility. May I know why you want to become a U.S. citizen? Please tell me how you received your USCIS green card. May I see your USCIS green card, passports, and any state-issued ID? Any more clarifications or questions? Did you get a new job after you applied for your naturalization? If you had a new job after you applied for your naturalization, of course, you can tell me about it, so that I can add it to your N-400 application. Have you traveled abroad after you applied for your naturalization?
If you had traveled abroad after you applied for your naturalization, then yes, you can inform me about any additional trips so that I can add them to your N-400 application. Did you transfer or have a new home address after you applied for your naturalization? If you transferred or have a new home address after you applied for your N-400, of course, you can tell me about it, so that I can add your new resident address to your application. You're welcome. So, are you eligible to become an American citizen? Can you tell me your full name on your permanent resident card? Have you ever used other names? Do you want me to legally change your name for free today? So what is your social security number? Do you have a USCIS online account number? So in case we have to contact you, may I know your phone number? What is your date of birth? Can you tell me the date you became a lawful permanent resident? May I know your country of citizenship or nationality? What is your country of birth? Do you have any disabilities or impairments that will prevent you from showing your understanding and knowledge of the English language? We will begin with the civics test. I will give you up to 10 questions and will only stop once you can correctly answer six. Are you ready? Name one state that borders Mexico. California. Name one state that borders Canada. Alaska. The Federalist Papers supported the passage of the U.S. Constitution. Name one of the writers. James Madison. When was the Declaration of Independence adopted? July 4, 1776. Who wrote the Declaration of Independence? Thomas Jefferson. Who was the first president? George Washington. Let's continue with the reading and writing tests. We will start with the writing test. I want you to listen to this sentence that I'll say and write it down on the digital tablet. The White House is in Washington, D.C. Let's proceed to the reading test. Please read the sentence that you can see on the digital tablet. Where is the White House? So let's proceed to the next part. Let's discuss the information about your parents. Are your parents American citizens? What's the maiden name of your mother? What's the name of your father? What is your present address?
Are you still living with this very same address? How long have you lived in this address? Where else have you lived? We will proceed to your biographic information. Do you know your ethnicity? How tall are you? Please tell me your weight based on pounds. What color are your eyes? What's the color of your hair? It's time to talk about your employment and schools attended. So what was your former job? Tell me how long have you worked there? Before this job, where else have you worked? What other things were assigned to you in this workplace? Can you tell me how long have you worked at that place? What is your present job? What's the name of your workplace? How many years have you been working there? What's your role or task in your workplace? Are you presently attending school? Let's continue and talk about your time outside the United States. Can you give me the total days, 24 hours or longer, that you spent outside the U.S. during the last five years? So how many trips of 24 hours or longer have you taken outside the U.S. during the last five years? You traveled because of this important event or occasion. Can you tell me more about it? So, do you remember the month and year you returned to the U.S. on your last trip? We will discuss about your marital history. Are you single, married, divorced, or widowed? How many times have you been married? Has your spouse been married before? Is your spouse a U.S. citizen? Did you bring your spouse's passport? Please show me your marriage certificate. So, do you have any children? We will go to part 12, additional information about you. Were you a non-U.S. resident on your tax returns since you received your permanent resident card? Were you able to tell anyone that you're an American citizen? What is to smuggle? To legally and secretly bring something into or out of a state or country. Did you sell or smuggle narcotics or illegal drugs? What is fraudulent? To make everyone believe a lie to gain something. Have you ever given fraudulent information to any officer for immigration benefit? Can you tell me the meaning of the word misrepresentation?
misrepresentation is an untrue statement. Did you make any misrepresentation in order to receive any public benefit in the U.S.? Did you commit any crime or offense? What do you mean by the word detain? Taken to confinement. Were you ever arrested, cited, or detained by any officer? What is legally incompetent? Someone who cannot make decisions due to mental problems. Have you ever been declared legally incompetent? Have you ever been deported from the U.S.? Have you been involved in not letting someone practice a religion and forcing someone in sexual relations? Have you ever advocated a violent overthrow of any government? Have you supported someone entering the U.S. illegally? Have you ever used any weapon to hurt any person? Did you register to vote in any U.S. election? Have you ever been a habitual drunkard? Please explain to me the word torture. Torture is to give severe pain on someone as a punishment. Were you ever involved in genocide, torture, badly hurting or trying to kill someone? Have you been married to someone to avail immigration benefits? Have you ever sold or provided any weapon to any person? Are you willing to take the full oath of allegiance to the U.S.? Are you willing to support the Constitution and form of government in the United States? Have you fully understood the full oath of allegiance to the United States? Can you tell me what's an oath of allegiance to the United States? Oath of Allegiance is a sincere promise to be loyal to America. Do you want to take the full Oath of Allegiance to the United States? If the law requires it, are you willing to use weapons on behalf of the U.S.? What is to perform work of national importance? to do work that's important to the country. If the law requires it, are you willing to do work of national importance under civilian direction? Are you willing to perform non-combatant services in the U.S. Armed Forces? Do you certify under penalty of perjury that you provided complete, true, and correct information? Give me a few minutes to check your documents. Kindly review your application and check if everything is correct. Check the spelling of your name and other information. Please tell me if everything is correct. Since all the information is correct, you can now sign it. I'm recommending that your naturalization application for U.S. citizenship be approved.
After your naturalization interview, you will receive the Form N-652, which the USCIS officer shall give you. This is a notice of examination results, also known as Form N-652. Congratulations, you've passed all the tests and met all the requirements. Okay, I hope to see you at your naturalization oath ceremony 40 minutes from now.